welcome to everyone myself dr david i am your chemistry lecturer for this year uh, in uh, pure first year friends we have a uh, totally a uh, 14 chapters we have and according to ncert we have 14 chapters involve variety of concepts variety of uh, uh, chapters involving in uh, our uh, pc first year syllabus as my knowledge concern as yes, uh, before to start the syllabus we have a little bit and a basic concepts means bridge course of our uh, today's class dear friends uh, in uh, chemistry i think all of you know the definition uh, chemistry is nothing but it is a uh, branch of science which deals with study of uh, matter before to start chemistry we know what is science science is a uh, systematic study of knowledge so now science na systematic ag kalita hogtive makale adralli we have a variety of branches physics chemistry maths biology computer science statistics electronics so many different types of science patterns are there in that part we start today is our part is chemistry already we know what is chemistry chemistry is nothing but it is a branch of science which deals with the study of matters you know variety of matters as a physical states and chemical states or physical property and chemical properties and based on this matter we have a variety of organic inorganic physical branches of the is based on the concept of matter the chemistry is divided into various type one is organic chemistry we have a second one inorganic chemistry the third one is a physical chemistry these are the major three branches apart from this we have an biochemistry if you want a polymer chemistry industrial chemistry and pharmaceutical chemistry various types of chemistry branches available in our syllabus as our syllabus concern major in pu level we have an organic inorganic physical and biochemistry part in pu level and pu second year we have in uh, this chapter is a uh, polymer and polymeric chemistry we study in uh, next year next year uh, syllabus so dear friends uh, if you move on to the next concept of uh, the chemistry is the organic i think all of you know in a uh, high school level uh, in uh, what are organic chemistry how can you define this organic chemistry i think all of you know organic chemistry is a uh, branch of chemistry organic chemistry chemistry on the branch i will tell you okay organic chemistry is a branch of chemistry which study about a carbon compounds stand about carbon compounds i repeat organic chemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with study of carbon compounds in some people are also explain organic chemistry is a backbone of a carbon without carbon there is no organic chemistry so based on this carbon compounds we start with a simple concept of our syllabus is catenation so what is the meaning of a catenation then to do makle this is the starting first point of organic chemistry catenation is nothing but self linking property self linking property of the carbon why why sir carbon is having self linking because carbon is an a tetra valency carbon is not valency it has a valency in the reaction what is the meaning of valency valency nothing but the combining capacity of the elements the combining capacity of the elements are known as valence we have a very simple concept and its carbon atomic number is 6 carbon atomic number is 6 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p x1 2p y1 and 2p z is total 6 electrons in carbon and here it is that these two are the inner orbitals sorry this is your inner orbital this is your outer orbital and this outer orbital having an one electron can easy to shift 
This is the ground state electron configuration. If this electron is shifts to the PZ orbital, now it becomes 2s orbital having only one. The P orbitals are having three electrons. It shows, therefore, four unpaired electrons. Carbon having four unpaired electrons after excitation. These four unpaired electrons are shows the combining capacity. So, if we have unpaired electrons, those four unpaired electrons is ready to accept another four unpaired electrons to make it the valency is a four. The carbon valency is always a four. That's why we call it a tetra tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. This is a tetrahedral. Then input B. Yes, what is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with carbon compounds or either a carbon backbone. So first concept is catenation. So what is catenation? The self-linking property of the elements. The self-linking, the self-linking property of the elements are known as a catenation. Carbon having highest catenation because it is having a tetravalency. We can easy to combine with a four element to make it a long chain. To make it a long chain, so we call it zana. Carbon is catenation. Due to this catenation, they have an a varieties of and linkage will be takes place. Bhushan, you already called the theorem of high school only. We have an a concept linkages. Those are an a straight chain, straight chain, or branch chain. There are two types of linkages, straight chains and branch chain. It's due to the carbon tetravalency, only carbon non-valency to the carbon, they can easy to combine. This is the straight chain. And here in the branch chain, this is due to the same carbon tetravalency, they can combine straight as well as the branch They can make it as a branch this is called a branch chain. It means carbon catenations are in two patterns, straight chain are either branch chain. This is carbon carbon linking. So, why this carbon carbon linkage will be takes place? This is known as covalent bond phase. The heavy carbon carbon join again in there, covalent bond. So, what are the meaning of the bonding? The bonding that involves the combination of the two elements. The element is one of the two elements. bond of the character. Really, yesterday we call this an ionic bond, covalent bond, coordination bond, hydrogen bond. So, various type of bonding will be takes place. Among that, one of the two covalent bond. So, what is the meaning of covalent bond? So, then we call covalent bonds are nothing but the mutual sharing of the mutual sharing of pair of electrons in between the two atoms. Whether electron will mutually share the electron is share of the electron is share of the So it is nothing but is a pair. The mutual sharing of a pair of electrons in between the two atoms are called covalent. Due to the mutual sharing, the covalent bond is always becomes really strong. Covalently, nothing only air bonding is So very simply, the covalent, polar covalent and non-polar covalent we study in this concept on chemical bonding chapter. But now, as our basics, we need the carbon-carbon having covalent bonding in this. After this is a, a self linking and catenation is how this organic chemistry or organic compounds are classified friends. But they can undergo to the classification. This is a very major part of our PUC level. As organic compounds are classified as into the various types. First one, aliphatic compounds. Yes, aromatic compounds. Number three, if you want 
cyclic compounds number 4 heterocyclic the major part of synthesis andre enu organic compounds na naalu rithi classification maartive based on the structure aliphatic compounds aromatic compounds cyclic compounds and heterocyclic compounds okay so in this code we know already friends in slc nim yaavadi kalthidira antane what are aliphatic compounds aliphatic compounds are the compounds they having open chain structure aliphatic compounds are the compounds they are having open chain structure and those open chain structure as towards the nervous consider i think already quite familiar about this one yes alkene alkene and alkyne alkene alkene and alkyne i think we all know the general formula cn h2n plus 2 cn h2n cn h2n these are the general three formulas we quite familiar with in high school level alkene alkene and alkyne let us begin the today's part as yes, what are alkenes alkene gulu andre yenu yavudike nam alkene andre karithebe yes alkene okay alkene as our concern i have made it a short form a you know we were go to the carbon carbon single this is what we are here here there what are alkenes definition of alkenes alkenes are nothing but these are the carbon compounds which involve in a carbon carbon single bond alkenes are the organic compounds which involve in carbon carbon single bonds are known as alkene with general formula i think all of you know cn h2n plus sir what is n n is nothing but is an integer yes you can use n equal to 1 if you use n equal to 1 the formula becomes c1 2 1 at 2 plus 2 this is your h4 commonly we call it is an ch4 so one carbon atoms we call is a me end of the a n e yes name of this compound me so this is your simple story and today we have an enhance after high school level so methane formula we know methane name we have to know and we start with today's is a skeletal structure of this methane the methane having four hydrogen atoms this is your four hydrogen atoms. the carbon carbon which is having an a single bonds this is in carbon carbon single bonds it indicates as an a sigma bonds i keep in your mind sigma bond sir so what is the meaning of sigma bond sigma bond and the yenu andre a very simple definition the axial overlapping of the atomic orbitals atomic orbital gal irukku nimple ಅಟಮ್ಗಳು ಅನ್ಕೋರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಒಂದೇ ನೇರದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಯಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದೇ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಯುತ್ತೇವೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಯಲ್ ಓವರ್ಲ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟಮಿಕ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಎರಡು ಅಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನು ತಗೋರಿ ಎರಡು ಒಂದೇ ನೇರದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದೇ ಸರ್ಕಡೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಅದು ಏನು ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು sigma bond in the correct way what are sigma bonds the axial overlapping of atomic orbital nodi so carbon carbon single bond iddare adu sigma bond nen padidare so you know one bond baruttu adu yavu so this is called a pi sagara what is the meaning of pi bonds pi bonds are formed by the sideways overlapping atomic orbital gulu magli magliye barudu ee tar the sideways overlapping of atomic orbitals are called pi bond axial overlapping is called ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಈ ಥರ ಬಂದರೆ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ ಒನ್ ಎನ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡು ವೀಕ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸರ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸಿಂಗಲ್ 
ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಥವಾ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಇತ್ತು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇರುವಾಗ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದನ್ ಎಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಒನ್ ಪೈ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಟ್ರಿಪಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಬಂದರೆ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಒಂದು ಏನು ಕೊಡುವರಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಡಬಲ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಒಂದು ಪೈ ಟ್ರಿಪಲ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ಪೈ ಒಂದು ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ತಲೆ ಒಳಗಿರಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡೋದು ಸರ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ವಿ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ 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 ಟೋಟಲಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಜೈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ is there methane ethane propane this yes, you keep in your mind you can easy to calculate how to know sigma bond agar sigma bond andre enantira carbon carbon single idre sigma carbon hydrogen bonds idre sigma adre double bond idre one sigma one pi triple bond idre madhya do sigma eradu pi bond aagutade this is the major concept so nan one sala bond bidtene alkene gulu agar alkene andre yenu sir shortcut agi idana yene endi karitive ಸಿಂಬಾಲಿಕಲಿ ಸಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಜನರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಸಿ ಎನ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಎನ್ ಒನ್ ಆದರೆ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಇದರ ಹೆಸರು ನೀಥೇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ನಮಗೆ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಸರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಮಾಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಹುಡುಗ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಯಿತು ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಎನ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಅಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸರ್ ಎನ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಸಾ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಫೋನ್ ಈಚ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಡ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತೇನೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಈ ಥೇ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೂ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಎನ್ ಇ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಮೋನ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಮೀನಿ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ನೋಡಿ ವೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಆಗಬೇಕು ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಬರೆಯೋದು ಸರ್ ಎಚ್ H, 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 H. This is totally six hydrogen atoms. Yes, you can calculate how many sigma bonds. Carbon, hydrogen, sigma, hydrogen. Sigma, 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 sigma. Carbon, hydrogen. Now we have one carbon, carbon. This is also sigma. Totally how many sigma bonds? Here are seven sigma bonds. So, this is the major story of alkene. ಅದೇ ಒನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಟು ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ರೋಪ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಪೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ಡೆಕ್ ಹತ್ತರ ತನ ಅಂದರೆ ಟೆನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಅಲ್ಕೀನ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ I repeat, alkenes are the organic compounds which involve in carbon-carbon single bond. Those are known as alkenes. So, simple story. Here, buddy. So, don't worry about these things. Very simple. Keep practicing. Can 